It's a UF Weather Action Day. We are asking you to stay informed. Take action now to be prepared for possible severe weather on Friday. What do you do? Well, think about where you would go if a warning is issued, whether you're at work, school, or home. Jeff Hoffman here from the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network Storm Center. We'll be joined with UF forecaster Amanda Holly here in just a minute. I want to walk you through the three big things we're looking at here with this weather on the sixes. There is a low severe weather risk. Friday, get this, in the morning hours, all right, isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Amanda's tracking another cold front, but it's not going to spoil your entire weekend. She'll have more on that in just a minute. And then your sixth day includes some really chilly weather. Here's the storm system we're watching for the possible rough weather on Friday. It's strengthening quickly here over the northwestern Gulf. It's going to race across those warm waters and pull up a warm and humid air mass. There's a boundary here to our south, a stationary front that separates warm and humid air to the south from that cooler, more stable air that we have in place here in North Florida right now. By the time you wake up in the morning, this air mass will have moved all the way from the southern Gulf into North Florida. Notice that stationary front becomes a warm front just after midnight. Also notice those thunderstorms from Tallahassee down into the central Gulf. They will be on our doorstep after daybreak. Here's your risk map. Areas in yellow have a slightly higher chance of that severe weather. Overall, this is a pretty low risk, but considering the EF2 tornado that formed in Cape Coral on Saturday with little notice, we have to be a little extra on guard this year here in the winter months because of the El Nino. Look at the warming weather overnight. We go from 55 at midnight to 65 on future track by 7 a.m. You're going to know something's a little unusual in the morning when it feels more humid and warmer than when you went to bed tonight. And there are those thunderstorms that roll in between 9 and 11 a.m. is the expected arrival time here in Alachua County. We'll have updates online on TV and of course on the radio as those storms move in in the morning. The good news is they do clear out by afternoon. By the way, it will be windy tomorrow afternoon as the storm strengthens and pulls away. But Amanda's tracking what actually will be a nice start to the weekend. Amanda. In fact, Saturday will be the pick day of the weekend to get outdoors. We've got a southerly flow keeping our temperatures warm after this uh, storm system moves through. In fact, a little bit warmer than we've been so far this week. It's going to be brief, though, brief warm spell before another storm system makes its way towards our area on Sunday. After that storm system moves out Saturday, but Saturday, a great day to get outdoors, nice and warm. But Sunday, a cold front actually makes its way towards our area. You can see the rain here. This is also an early morning event, but quick quickly moves out of the area and Saturday, Sunday afternoon looks pretty good, but it's going to be a cold one as temperatures will be falling for the rest of the day on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be rather chilly. Jeff. Thanks, Amanda. Don't forget Florida Storms is the mobile app where you can stay up to the minute with the very latest on the severe weather.